Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to prepare your Mac for resale. So say you just bought a new Mac and you want to sell your old Mac or pass it along to a friend. Well, you want to clean off the hard drive and reinstall the OS so the new owner has a fresh start and none of your data is left on the machine. So of course it goes without saying that you've backed up all your data or migrated it to a new Mac. You don't need anything on here because you're going to erase this drive completely. So the first thing you need to do is find the original install DVDs that came with your Mac. And there should be two of them depending upon which Mac you've got. One should have the OS. The other may have applications. For instance iLife on them. Now you may have upgraded your Mac since then so you may say have a Snow Leopard disk that you use to upgrade this Mac. Use the Snow Leopard disk instead if that's the case. To boot from this DVD you can stick it in, restart your Mac and hold the C key down or you can use the Startup Disk Utility inside of System Preferences or you can simply run the installer application on the disk and at one point it will ask you to reboot and it will reboot to the DVD. Now instead of charging right along to the installation of the OS you want to instead take a detour and go up to the menu bar and choose Disk Utility. This will run the same Disk Utility application that you might have used elsewhere but it will run it basically taking over the entire screen of the Mac. Now it will look more or less but not exactly like this. You will probably only see one hard drive over here. So you select that one hard drive and you go to Erase. And there you can name it just call it Macintosh hard drive like that. Keep it at Mac OS extended and then hit security options before you hit erase. So what you want to do is choose either zero at data or seven pass erase. You see when you simply erase a disk the data is all still there. But the links to the data, the links that form the bits into files are erased. So somebody could theoretically still go through the drive, find credit card numbers, passwords, things like that. So you want to make sure this drive is cleaned off like it's new. So zero out data is fine. Security experts will want you to do seven pass erase which erases seven times just to be extra sure that the bits really are zeroed out. Now once you've done that you can then hit the erase button and it will erase that entire drive. And if you choose seven pass erase it may actually take a little while to do it. Now once you've done that then you can quit Disk Utility. It will automatically go back to the OS X installer and do the OS X install. Next you may want to take that second DVD if your Mac came with one and reinstall all the applications, the original things like iLife that came with it. If you don't have that second DVD or you're using a Snow Leopard disk or something else and you don't have those iLife applications to reinstall that's okay but you may want to note it to the buyer that it doesn't have iLife and they may need to purchase those apps separately. And if you don't have the original DVD you also want to note that to the buyer because without an installed DVD they've got a Mac that they can't restore if they run into a problem. So the price should be lower. Then it's up to you whether you want to connect this Mac to your network and then use Software Update to update everything on it. The OS, security patches, things like that. You may want to run Software Update multiple times just to make sure you get everything updated. Or of course you could leave that to the new owner of the machine to do. But the important thing is you've cleaned off all your data, you've installed a new OS, and your Mac is now ready to be passed on. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.